So where is Pennsylvania in the vaccine rollout process? That's the question many keep asking, but there are no clear answers for the bulk of the population. But amid complaints that vaccine distribution is going way too slowly, the state health secretary says the state is finally getting its footing. Nicole Ford joins us now with that update. Nicole. Ken, the real issue here, according to Dr. Rachel Levine, is the unrealistic expectation set forth by the federal government. She says people are honing in on that goal of 20 million vaccinations by the end of 2020. Well, obviously that didn't happen. So the state is fighting through those challenges to get more doses in more arms. About a month ago, the first healthcare workers in our area got vaccinated. Since then, the rollout appears to be slow. Now to date, Pennsylvania has received 827,300 doses of the two approved vaccines. Only 34 and a half percent of those doses were administered. So what's the holdup? There are reporting delays of t up to 24 hours for the hospitals and FQHCs, et cetera. And then Walgreens and CVS has up to up to 72 hours. Dr. Levine says the state is waiting on a large portion of nursing home data from CVS when it comes to residents and staff who received shots from last week. On top of that, a number of doses are held back for phase 1A second dose. That's something Levine says could change with a new president. The Biden administration has suggested that they might make a change in terms of the and, and the, uh, the distribution that they might not um, hold back vaccines for second dose. Levine's concern with that change is if the supply chain can keep up, but says it would increase the number of people vaccinated. The only thing criticism might be um, the some of the uh, the messaging that came out of the federal government about their what I think are unrealistic expectations. Meanwhile, the state expects to receive $100 million from the federal stimulus program to help coordinate a mass vaccination plan for the public. But right now, Levine says discussions are happening on when to move the state to the 1B phase. I think actually the pace has increased in Pennsylvania and throughout the nation last week very well. We want to continue that and improve upon that. Another roadblock in this vaccine distribution process was those unaffiliated health care providers in this 1A phase. While individual hospital systems were vaccinating their employees, these health care providers didn't know where to go to get the vaccine. Well, today, Dr. Levine says a website has gone live as part of the Department of Health with a map showing exactly where these people can go to get the vaccine. Reporting live tonight, Nicole Ford, KDKA News.